Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. Today I wanted to compare the rival RFX Guerrero SFH sparring gloves with the RFX Guerrero HDEF sparring gloves. The noticeable differences between the two, obviously first is going to be the color. I got the SFH model in blue in 14 ounces. I got the HDF model in white in 20 ounces. So you can see in terms of sizing, how much larger the 20 ounce glove is compared to the 14 ounce glove, both in terms of width. You'll notice that the HDEF 20 ounce glove has a wider wrist support. Just this section in general is, is a little bit wider on the HDF model. You also notice that the height of the glove on the HDEF uh, white glove right here is a little bit taller. So you'll notice that this angled lace track right here on the back of the glove, on the white glove is higher than that. And you also notice the overall height of the 20 ounce glove is larger. Nothing surprising here, just because it is a glove that is six ounces larger or heavier than the SFH version. So in terms of just the sizing profile, how much larger the 20 ounce glove is, the thumb on both gloves are pretty much identical in terms of sizing. I'll flip it to the side so you can see it. Uh, you'll also notice that the finger compartment on the HDF model is deeper and wider and has a little bit more of a flatter finger compartment right here compared to the SFH. This is a little bit more shallow and rounded and a little bit shorter. But outside of that, the exact same model, they're both from the RFX Guerrero family of, of sparring gloves. So everything else about the glove is pretty much identical. They both have this little uh, cloth patch where you can put your name if you wanted to with the size that's obviously the 20, this is the 14, and then the model uh, padding. Now the SFH uses a combination of foam and quilted horsehair, where the HDEF version uses layered foam padding with a uh, piece of EVA foam that's laminated to the inside of the glove. And EVA is a denser foam that's more protective, more shock absorbent. So the HDF version essentially is a glove for those of you that want a sparring glove or a training glove that's more protective, that more, is more shock absorbent. Uh, you can really throw your, you know, your punches with a lot of power and feel like the, the padding does a really good job uh, of absorbing that impact. Where the SFH version is definitely softer. You'll feel the, the shock a little bit more. You'll feel that the punch has a little bit more of a connective feeling. So it's really subjective. It's really up to you on the style that you prefer based on your own needs. But you can see right there, just in terms of sizing, how they look against each other. I'm gonna rotate it to the thumb side as well. So again, just kind of from a height perspective, you can see the 20. Uh, the thumbs are pretty much identical. I mean, if I put them next to each other, you can see the height and the angle of the thumb is pretty much identical. And then showing you guys right here on this side, let me rotate these gloves uh, the other way. Um, the thickness of the padding as well is pretty much the same. I'd say it's maybe about two inches on both gloves. You'll notice that the HDEF, because the, the padding is more uh, firm and uh, stiffer compared to the SFH version, it has just more of a pronounced shape with that, that kind of that rounded, uh, with that rounded hand, hand compartment right there. And you'll notice that the padding on here, and I'll rotate it to the fist here in a second, is definitely more stiffer. But grip bars are pretty much identical. Stitching pattern is pretty much the same as well. I'll go ahead and rotate this back. Exact same type of liner, that foamy tricot liner on both gloves on the inside. So nothing there that's different. Uh, exact same laces, flat white laces with plastic tips at the end. Uh, piping is the same type of material. So again, everything else about the glove is identical. Okay, so attached thumb in that spot on the SFH version and the attached thumb, same spot on the H. Yeah. Now, if you guys are interested, I did do uh, independent reviews of both of these models, so you guys can check the video. I'll put those in the description box, a link for those, so you can check that out uh, with the review on each glove. But you'll notice the SFH version. So when I'm pushing down, I'm, I'm pushing down with just kind of a, a medium amount of effort. I'm not like hammering down on the on the uh, on the padding. But you'll notice here it's much softer. I say that this is kind of medium to soft in density when I push down on this knuckle compartment. And the gloves definitely have a little bit more of a softer broken in feel to where when you put your hand in it, 
you could open and close your palm to, to, to parry or, or catch shots easier with this SFH model. So you can see it's just a softer foam. The HDF is much more dense and, and it's harder to see with the white because you don't get the depth of color like that, that blue, but this is definitely a more denser foam. It's, it takes a lot more effort for me to really push through on the foam here. And that's the whole point behind this glove is to be more protective in that regard. So you can see it's just a much more denser foam and this glove is much stiffer. So when you first get these gloves, they're very hard to open your palm. If, if any, you can't really open your can't hand to catch shots. So it takes a really long time for this glove to break in uh, compared to the SFH version that you have here. Um, wrist support, you can see it's the same exact design on the inside where you have the padding for the wrist on both sides. So again, everything else about the glove is identical. So in short, both gloves are awesome. For those of you that are wondering which one you should get, to me, it really boils down to the type of padding you prefer. If you're somebody that wants more of a puncher style glove with the horse hair, you really like that feeling of your knuckles kind of piercing through. Um, it's a little less protective, but I, in my opinion, you get a little bit more feedback. It's easier to open your hand. I would go with SFH. If you're somebody that wants more protection, more shock absorption, um, you know, you throw your you throw your shots with a lot of power, uh, but maybe you have you know uh, some type of injury to your hands or to your wrist, uh, just something needs to be a little bit more protective. Then I would go with the HDF version. You can't go really wrong with either one. It really just boils down on your personal preference when it comes down to padding style. The gloves are identical in price. They're both $259. So if you want to round up, $260. Uh, so really up to you what you want to go with. But I did want to show you guys kind of a side-by-side -side on how they look both in terms of just the, the overall size between the 14 and the 20, as well as the type of padding between the two. And again, SFH much softer, the HDEF definitely more dense and stiffer. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know what to do, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box where you can get these rival Guerrero sparring gloves. And I will see you guys later. See you guys next time. Peace.